everybody. My name is Matt Johnston, and I'm here to tell you, actually, I'm here to atone for doing a really bad thing, but I didn't mean it. Um, what you're about to see is a picture of my dad, his two twin sisters, standing in front of a burning Pearl Harbor on December 7th, 1941. For some reason, my grandmother thought this was a good time to take a photo. <laughs> so I grew up in Hawaii, and I was born there, and I was uh, immersed in Japanese culture. Uh, and like my Miss Sakoto was my first teacher. She was awesome. And like uh, my favorite superhero when I was a kid wasn't Batman. It was Kikaida, right? And so flash forward many, many years, and I'm asked to uh, work on a video game that's based in World War II in the Pacific Theater. And uh, I'm very conflicted about this because it's very close to home. And I'm thinking, this isn't entertainment for me. This isn't supposed to be fun. This is a very serious topic. And I know people whose ancestors, I mean, my, my dad was there, right? So um, I tried to embed my own feelings into my work because I do have a job to do. And so I was the audio director. And my idea was to make the pilots in the game seem so real so that you connected to them uh, so much, and when you heard them dying in the game, it was creepy and freaky, and you didn't ever want to play the game again, right? <laughs> and the produce, like, everybody else thought that was a terrible idea, because they want to sell the game, right? But I was just like, I don't care, whatever. I got a mission. So, we're going to record the pilots, the Japanese pilots, speaking actual Japanese, and we're going to put uh, English subtitles on there. It's going to cost more, but this is going to be awesome, right? Immersion. So the producer is like, this is a terrible idea. He sends an email to our colleagues in Japan who we're partnering with on this project, and they just revolt. They're like, this is the most like, culturally insensitive idea I've ever heard. This is not cool. You know what those English-accented Japanese pilots are going to sound like? This guy. That's what they're going to sound like, a caricature of a real person who died in this battle. And that producer was like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. That was Matt's idea. Uh, and uh, you know what I'm going to do to fix that? I'm going to feed Matt to you. I'm going to send him to Tokyo, and he's going to come over there, and he's going to fix it. So I fly to Tokyo, right? And I'm met by this uh, mini army of angry people who are like, oh, yeah, there's the guy, you know, haro, you know, and that kind of stuff. <laughs> and I'm sitting in this recording studio for hours and hours, and they're treating me like a houseplant, like a racist houseplant. They're just, like, talking over me, looking through me. And I'm giving them direction. I'm like, hey, here's how we recorded the United States pilots. We recorded them like when the line says, I'm on fire, I'm going down, tell my mom I love her. Sound like you're on fire. Like, can you be more burning right now? You're not on fire, you know? And these guys are just like, they would get up, they would walk out of the studio, and I would think like, oh, it's a pee break or a smoke break or whatever, and they would just not come back. <laughs> so finally, like, second to the last day, I get one of these guys to just go out with me for a drink. And there's no, no exchange of, of talking or anything like that. And he just looks at me and he goes, you are giving the wrong direction. And I was like, whoa. Right? And he goes, Japanese pilots were trained not to show emotion under stress. Because showing emotion under stress was weakness. That showed weakness. And you were to go into those situations with honor and not show emotion. And I was like, man, I did not know that. I'm sorry. That is my bad. Right? And I thought that was it. And he's like, and the fact that you thought this was something you needed to defend for us, given the scenario, given the situation, think about the context of what we're talking about here. This is a video game based in a historical battle between our two countries, and you're coming to our rescue? Can you imagine how insulting that must be to me and my team? And I was just like, yes, yes. Yes, I was like this tall, right? So I shook his hand, you know, paid the tab, walked around Tokyo all night crying. I think it was a little bit of Stockholm Syndrome, but I was still crying. And I was just really upset about how stupid I was and how, like, I was, thought I was so thoughtful, but I was really not thinking at all. And so, um, you know, what ended up happening was the game came out. It was really well received. People thought it was very immersive to hear the Japanese pilot speaking. Um, and see the captions. People were claiming they were learning Japanese by playing the game. And this was all really great. And this was exactly what I wanted, right? Um, so I'm just here to tell you that you can have it in your heart. And you should follow your heart and believe in what you're thinking. And you need to pursue that. And you might be totally wrong to the point where you might offend all of Japan, right? <laughs> but it's still worth doing. So I'm here to say to everybody, including Japan, Simasen. I'm sorry, but I'm still happy I did it. 
ありがとうございます。Thank you.